In the previous episode, we delved deep into the world of Mementos, but unfortunately, a far greater threat looms on the horizon. I, of course, speak of midterms. So, we're going to completely ignore the midterms and go back to Mementos, or at least in terms of our conversation. We're the bittersweet gamers. I we squared? And I'm the opinionator, and I just wanted to take a moment, which will surely be too long, <laughs> to discuss Mementos just a bit. We've had a little bit of time to, to sit on it and think about it, so it seems like Mementos is basically the point of this game. Yeah, yeah, pretty it, integral. It's more or less the... And this isn't a secret, too. Morgana said a lot of this stuff. It just that in the last episode, while we were there, we didn't really spend that much time digesting what Mementos was about. Right. Because we were in dungeon mode and wanted to run around and fight a lot of monsters and stuff. Which we did. And it was good. So, Mementos is a collective unconscious. And this is kind of what I'm thinking. Obviously, I'm sure all of this is wrong, or at least a lot of it. But this is where, where we're at. Yes. I don't know. We, we, we've gotten pretty good at predicting. Well... Part of the way to be uh, effective at predicting things is to cons constantly make predictions because eventually some of them are going to be right. Oh! It's kind of like the shotgun method <laughs> of uh, interpreting uh, a story. So, this is kind of what we're thinking. The collective unconscious, Mementos, is the source of all the palaces. Right. What Morgana had said was that previously there was no way that anybody could have that a palace could have developed, that the distorted desires from a single strong individual would not have been allowed to become so strong just because uh, the way that I'm looking at it is perhaps the metaverse hadn't expanded. Yeah, far. yeah, yeah. But now it is something that's happening, which implies that something important changed in mementos, which is kind of what has led to this. Right. Whether that's the expansion of the metaverse or even something so simple as that mementos the unconscious is underground mm -hmm. and now people are using all these subways and yeah spending yeah a lot of time passing oh through all the advancement the, of technology yeah, passing through all this negativity on a day-to-day -day basis which seemed heavily implied by the scene where where, the, where everyone got on the right. subway and kept going deeper in right yeah. so that probably has something to do with with like the negativity of mementos expanding the next thing that i wanted to say about that uh, was I assume that in the world of Persona 5 the reason that it's so bad, almost cartoonishly ridiculously bad such malicious gossip such bad behavior, such widespread terrible attitudes I mean we were saying man it's bleak and it's dark and it is and I like that mm -hmm. but the reason that it is so bleak, so exaggerated and, and, and bleak is because of mementos. Yeah, like that, it's affecting them. Yeah, that spreading out of negativity and, and human beings here um, inundating themselves and all this negativity all over has in fact made them worse. Yeah, yeah. And the reason that uh, our heroes, the Persona users, are able to actually not be as affected by it if Mementos is the collective unconscious, by being social outcasts, they have less access to the collective unconscious. They're not as affected by it because they're not as, as much a part of the collective. Exactly. Consider when they awoke in their persona. It was them actively opposing. Exactly. I mean, the spirit of rebellion. Yes, uh, an armor of the heart. Exactly. Text them from mementos. This is exactly where I'm going with this. Once again, I don't think that this is necessarily going to be completely correct, but that's how we're looking at it right now. I do like the idea of mm. the random. Oh, hello. One second. <laughs> I do like the idea of the the sort of randomly generated place having so much importance. Yeah, yeah. Well, it reflects everyone's, like, the unconscious, like, shifting and whatnot. That, that's why it's so random. Uh, yeah, you know, I understand that. I'm just saying I wasn't expecting it to be so apparently integral ah, to ah. the game's plot and, and story. So, anyway, cool. I might, I might also be way overblowing how much it matters, but maybe I'm not. <laughs> that's our theory. It looks like you're attending school seriously. That reminds me. You also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san, if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here, though. I guess you two really click. We're in the same class. There's something weird about that? 
Oh. I see. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. Can we not be friends? I heard she was a victim of Mr. Kamoshida, but was that all there was to it? Is there a problem here? I see through you! Either way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. You have exams starting tomorrow. It's too late to cram, so don't even try. I guess technically I kind of am cramming. I really meant to spend a lot of time well, studying, but... shall we begin? Now then, picking up from last time... Oh no, no. The end of the Heian period marks okay. the rise of the samurai, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. Well, yeah, it's like everyone wants to wants to learn about all the cool stuff, right? As described in the tale of the Heike, Heike, Heike. Heike, sir? Heike, thank you. It was a time when all that was... As described in the tale of the Heike, it was a time when all that was great would fall from grace. It's so sad! It wasn't unusual for the heroes of yesterday to be struck down as rebels of the present day. Such drama! By the way, sympathizing with the loser of the week is called Magistrate's Patronage. Magistrate's Patronage, sir? Are you going to sass me, boy? Yes, should I get up and teach this part instead? Maybe you should. You know, I've never heard of that magistrate's patronage. Me either. I, I tend to, to instinctively root for the underdog. I mean, I'm, I'm all about, when it comes to, like, the civil wars mm -hmm. of the, of, like, the Japanese warring states period, I'm, like, all about the Hazai. Right, right. They could just be samurai warriors. Though. Anyway. <laughs> that term came from the name of the position that a certain hero held. Now then, the Kamura Kun. Uh, What's the square root of. Oh, I mean. Uh, <clears throat> who do you think is the origin of the term magistrate's patronage? Well, now, considering that I don't actually know anything whatsoever <laughs> about the term magistrate's patronage, as I believe I just made clear, and considering that I don't know jack about this period, I really don't actually know that much about Japanese history. Yeah, I suppose you know more about Chinese history. I really know a lot about Chinese history. So, um... Well, that was neat. So pretty much what we did was, rather than just looking up what the answer was, I just read a little bit on Wikipedia, come on here, about <laughs> Kaido no Masakado and Minamoto no Yoshitsune. If you're going too fast, it's hard to talk. It's obviously Yoshitsune. Um, because he's typically viewed as uh, something of more legend than fact. I mean, yeah, the man really yeah. existed, but his exploits are not real. Right. <laughs> and he's in the tale of the Heike, and he's considered a tragic hero. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. And the picture on Wikipedia looks exactly like this guy! <laughs> so it's him. This is it. That way I learned something. Correct. Exactly. Thanks, Wikipedia! Magistrate was Minamoto no Yoshitsune's title, which later became his nickname. Although Yoshitsune helped defeat the Taira, he was driven out by his brother and killed himself. All right! However, in the centuries that followed, Yoshitsune became more popular as a tragic hero. It's just more compelling of a story that way. Oh, you know, it feels kind of bad. Like, I'm really doing more of lecturing than I am playing a game. <laughs> ah, oh well! <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. I'll pay you back, I swear. Don't worry about the money. Is everything okay with you? No, I'll talk to Sakura-senpai and give you your money back. I just want to do the right thing for once. I won't drag you into it. You know, that is really nice! That's that bully that we just beat up in mementos. Yeah! That's that's what I appreciate. People making up for what they did that was wrong. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make it, like... It doesn't make their crimes go away, though. No, no, but you can always, as we've said many times before, you can always start doing the right thing. What's this? It's mm. finally a crossword puzzle. We've been really wanting to do one of these. The very first one we saw, we just ignored. <laughs> and then haven't seen one since, so let's do it. Excellent. I love crossword puzzles. The coffee and cafe section. So of course like, it is. So you really like crossword puzzles. Huh? I do really like crossword puzzles. I hate them. <laughs> the way that I think, it just doesn't really lend itself to it. Oh man, what was that? Blue Mountain? Yeah, Mountain. Ah, they make it a little bit easier by only giving us so many letters, huh? Yeah. All right. I see. Nice. So Wait, you only, there's only one? You don't actually do the whole puzzle? Man, that's lame. What a jit. Right. 
Ah, well, I think I did the best I could in terms of studying and stat building, and there's so much time that you need to spend doing stuff. <laughs> ah, we'll be all right. We won't really score that well, but... We'll score as best we can. Well, shall we begin? Now then, let the first day of exams begin. Moment of truth! Oh, dang. Yeah, this is basically going to be a rehash of each one. Optical illusion. It's astigmatism. Astigmatism. What is that? I have no idea. Uh, short sighted. Oh, can do think? this. An essay question. Sweet. What is the reason why people will see the same thing differently? Y you know. Gino is here doing the, the, this test with his cat in his desk <laughs> meowing the whole time. <laughs> uh, visual? Er, but it, How would it not be visual information? I guess so, I guess so, yeah. The marrow! <laughs> now I like the stomach. Different... Cognition, wouldn't that be it? Ooh. I'm pretty sure it had to do with cognition because that's the theme they've been ramming down our throats. No, that's that is in fact true. No, I mean that's absolutely true. It's just part of me wanted to jump out and say visual acuity, but that isn't that really is It's a, a trap, trap. Damon! <laughs> yeah, it, it is a trap. Because of that. Yep. Uh, generally that blip will tell you that you got the right answer. Today is the second day of exams. You may begin. Okay, the answer is Kravit! <laughs> oh. Which of the following expressions came from the name of the position that Minamoto no Yoshitsune held? Uh, magistrate's patronage. Of hot pot attendant! Totally hot pot attendant! <laughs> Domineering husband. <laughs> the origin of the English word talent, the name of a sum of currency. Ooh, we can do this! Ooh, we can do this. It's basically going to be two a day. That's how it was in four. Right. It's just going to zip us through it. No! Events! <laughs> I want to play video games at home! <laughs> or watch Bubbly Hills 90210 Part 2. Hey, that no, I, that's what I actually did when it came time to do okay, class. Let's new get tests to play video games. Just to relax. In my case, being relaxed and psychologically prepared helps way more than anything else. But people are different. Yeah. You know, you... I... I I just never really needed to cram or mm -hmm. something like that. I'd always, I'd always review everything. Right. What did the Greek philosopher Socrates say that evil is born from? Ignorance. Ooh, we can do this. <laughs> Give me Stop a break. Stop <laughs> And now, ooh, it's this one. Oh. 47. Wait, hold on. To paint Japan? So no two adjacent areas of the same color? Four. Well, it must be the same Four. answer, yeah. Ooh, no, because it, it was originally that. a geography issue, which is actually how, ah. they, how, they, framed, how they framed it. Liars. Damn that question! Liars. <sighs> that was it? Ugh, so sleepy. I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today's the last day of exams. I thought there was one more day. You? Staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games. Then before I knew it, it was morning. Now you don't stay up <laughs> that long if you're doing the play video games to relax study method, which worked really well for me. You, you, have, to, you have to actually review the material and get some sleep, moron. <laughs> How manly. Yeah, I know that feeling. Bull, you say that, but you probably you probably spent the whole night studying. That doesn't work, man. You spend the whole night sleeping. <sighs> Morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Mm. Impressive, Lady Yawn. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Ishima? <laughs> huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. That means I'm smarter. <laughs> what, can't you see how big Morgana's head is when he's in the metaverse? <laughs> Science is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? What was that? I love how Ryuji's rival is a cat. Yeah! <laughs> you wanna fight, cat? 
Uh, will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I memorized. Mm -hmm. Oh. Am I imagining things? <laughs> you need the bathroom? No, what's wrong? I know. What? You see a groper or something? Probably. Well, we're not on the bus yet. Train. Whatever. No, that's not it. It's, it's nothing. <sighs> Ah, but Morgana senses it. It's the stalker that we haven't found yet. Oh, oh. Oh my god, that guy got off. Is it you scared? Is this bad? Maybe. We saw him kind of lurking before. Yeah, just a couple of days ago. Hey, at least act like you care. <sighs> Nobody else is even looking. Come on. He's going to lead them around the corner and then jump him when he comes to follow them. That's a good way to do it. Oh no, they're using Set a trap. Bait. <laughs> Shouldn't she maybe pull out her phone and start messing with it? Well, if her back's to him, it won't necessarily matter. All right, Muji, Kung Fu Punch, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh. If you're trying to be stealthy, you don't wear a chain of keys. Ah, oh, it is Yusuke. No, 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 we've already got a silent protagonist. <laughs> hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? Uh, I'm not that... <laughs> There's something you want. <laughs> That's my line! You were the one stalking me! He did reach for her. He was. Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! He has this! Yeah! I mean, he was lurking after us before, too. Yeah! Uh, it's because I want to paint you. And my goodness. Oh, yeah. I had wondered why you left the car. There's so my this running. is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. Okay. That was kind of a lame old laugh. That's pretty awkward, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this isn't awkward or anything. What? Draw her like one of your French girls. <laughs> but no, we don't know that yet. You've got to wait until we get the information know, before we start razzing him. <laughs> You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? Wait a minute, I... <laughs> Be Woo! the model for my next art piece. Maybe start with that next time, fella. <laughs> Right? I also like how he's described as unforeseen boy. <laughs> the boy who defies the expectation of being known. <laughs> I love how dramatic he is. Model? Yeah, that's... So angular, a pose. <laughs> All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. <laughs> yes, He's moving he in on my turf, meow. <laughs> Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? <laughs> Beauty speaks the truth. Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? You know, those eyes of his don't really look like what you would think an artist's eyes would look like. Don't they look like not, not driven, but um, like... Dangerous? He does look pretty dangerous. What is the human eyes in this game? Jiro's eyes are too far apart. Ryuji's got caveman eyes. Look, he just doesn't have eyebrows, okay? That's not his fault. But it does make him look a little bit like a caveman. <laughs> I guess I do spend a lot of time staring into people's eyes and judging their deformities. <laughs> Whoa, hold your horses. Who are you anyways? Maybe you should have started with that first. Oh. Where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. It's polite. I'm sort of. Arame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence in his place. He just pushes Muji aside. <laughs> One side, caveman. All right, and now everyone's going to be like, Madarame, even though... Well, Jiro you know, hasn't talked about... No, they may not might remember. From Mementos? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Matarame? Here we go. The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? 
He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. I don't just waste all my time playing video games, Ryuji. I have culture and like the world that I need to know about. <laughs> you know, this this just doesn't seem like it's going to turn out well. Because obviously we the players have the knowledge. That... Yeah. Madarami's a bad egg. But we heard that name the other day in Mementos. There Thank we go. you. Thank you very much. Yusuke. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. I was busy overhearing this conversation. You say something about Mementos? <laughs> that old guy's Madarame? Madarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'm surprised that An didn't just go, Oh, look, it's a celebrity! And wig out a bit. I think she's kind of... After the celebrity that was Kamoshida, she might be a bit cautious about that kind of thing. Well, that might be looking into it a bit much, but sure. I'll be there Maybe. to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. Well, she already is a model, and True. the ability to be painted by somebody connected to Mararame would probably... It would be I mean, a huge boost to her career. It, she'd be a fool not to do it. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one of these, where everybody and their dog just has to crap all over Yuji. <laughs> well, then. I hope to see you there tomorrow. See, look at those eyes! <laughs> no, I fully agree with you. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. Not that I've ever read one. <laughs> You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. She has to. Yeah. Crap, but look at the time. I'll see you later. I can't explain myself right now. It'll have to be tomorrow. What are you gonna do? Go study or something? Well, How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. <laughs> Everyone is going to hate Yusuke. <laughs> I mean, we know nothing about him, but right. he's in the opening quite prominently. Mm -hmm. Like he's sort of roped in as one of the main four. Yeah, kind exactly. Of? Ways presented. Yeah. You became acquainted with Madarame's pupil by chance? Yes? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. Don't you know how fiction works? These coincidences of meeting important people like pile up for all types of normal Joes who would <laughs> never normally meet someone like that. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Madarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. How is Why? how is that? I mean, we'll obviously find out the details, but you can't just become a famous artist without producing the art yourself. Well, that depends on if he actually does produce the art. What if he's like I said? But he's Earth? world famous. He he can't just. If he had a single pupil that was doing it, mm -hmm. then that pupil would be known too. You can't... But he doesn't. He has several pupils. That's why I'm saying he can't actually become a famous artist by just robbing the work of students. Because otherwise they wouldn't be uh, of this of a similar type of quality or have a unified style making That's it recognizable true. as a madarame. That's true. He might just take their work and then add his own touches to make it look Perhaps. like his work. Edit it, you know. That, that might... Photoshop! Yes, he's a Photoshop artist. <laughs> Very traditionally Japanese. But how did you discover such horrible deeds that were hidden all these years in such a short time? I'm telling you, interdimensional metaverse palaces. And the metaverse. This metaverse business again? You're just going to have to listen to it sometime. <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. Oh? People have gone mad or lost consciousness, never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. What, what have we said about it? What an interesting way to uh, introduce the idea of a prosecution. I mean, would that be... That would be a really landmark case. Maybe that's what they meant when they said manslaughter, when, when they read off his charges. Because they think that... Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can accept that, that they they think that he actually... Or they're trying to pin 
the psychotic breakdown phenomenon. No, this is. You no, know, he was he was being told that uh, be, that he was being charged with manslaughter before Sai interrogated him. That's so it, true. It can't okay. come okay. from the interrogation. Okay. Were you related to those as well? Not really. I mean, does not this directly? mean? Does this mean these answers? He doesn't have a no. Does this mean that the answer is yes? Well, doesn't this imply that? That does seem to be. I don't know. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Fine. Continue telling me about Matarame's case. Keep it concise and only of the truth. I keep checking my time, even though I know this meeting is going to last for most of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Today's the last day of exams, huh? Seemed like some of those were kind of tough. Yep. Well, it wasn't too bad. You should have gotten a decent score, right? <sighs> it's over! Hooray! It's over. <laughs> Ooh. How about you? Uh, it's over? There we go! <laughs> It's over. <laughs> it is in fact over. Come on, you two need to get your act together. I did as much as I could have without sacrificing other things. See Madarame on the ad behind Ryuji? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. <sighs> you just have to you just have to face the consequences of your actions, Ryuji. You can't pretend they don't exist. But that's what being a teenager is for, is understanding. Truly, that your actions have consequences. <laughs> Cause and effect. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the fan site. I was right. The usual site. The usual. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. Yeah, he did become a moderator then. <laughs> I am not letting this end as a one hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. We are gonna build up hits on that site whether you like it or not. <laughs> I know. Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. No, I don't wanna spend that! <laughs> I want sushi then. Or domestic raised eel. Does it matter how they're raised? Yes. Have you have you ever eaten eel? Damon, you know what I like to eat. Alright. <laughs> eel is amazing it is one of the best tasting foods in the entire world we don't have that much left <laughs> oh right there are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit wait that's tomorrow Did you think there'd be food there i guess there wouldn't be would there don't tell me was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? Murder him, Morgana! <laughs> it's not like that. Throw up in his shoes. <laughs> you know, the thing is, about Yusuke, I kind of don't really... I mean, obviously he's going to be a party member, but at right. the moment I, I kind of don't really trust him. I mean, Nor should you? Yeah, exactly. I mean, not surprising. If, just because we know that he's going to be a party member doesn't mean that they didn't do their best to cast him with this suspicion yeah. in the game. I mean, for one, he's a pupil of Madarame, yeah. which means we have to save him slash he might be pretty warped himself. Possibly. Oh, of course not. <laughs> when I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. And you should also be suspicious because of that. Primarily because of that. Yeah. Matarame, was it? I'm curious, yeah. too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? I'm all about the appreciating fine arts. Oh, you said arts. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Arts, huh? <laughs> I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. I'm a cat, so you have to sneak me in, like normal. <laughs> well, if everyone's going, it's settled then. <laughs> eh, screw off! Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. <laughs> <laughs> I like that wiggle that she did too. Yeah. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. I do I do like going to see stuff like this, 
But I'm not going to lie, sometimes I think they're awful. Yeah. Not because of some grand ability to uh, appraise art, but right. because sometimes it really does turn out to be boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tomorrow we go to that exhibit with Lady Odd. I'm curious to know if this Matarame has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. Whatever the case may be, we can't be late. Better get to bed early. I'm texting you again. So I keep thinking about what Nakanohara said. Could he have been talking about the famous, famous artist, Madarane? Duh! <laughs> well, it is a pretty rare last name. Yeah, I mean, you guys ever heard of someone else called Madarane? No. It's really not common at all. If what we heard is true, Kitagawa-kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Kitagawa-kun's life is probably pretty terrible. We gotta look into this. And I'm not just saying that because it'll really cheese Morgana off. <laughs> so crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, alright? You came. Well, here we are. Um, yeah. You really came. I'm digging his suit. Pinstripe. No, Pinstripe is good. Doesn't he just seem like Angular Boy to you? <laughs> What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? I thought a monkey like you just wouldn't even dare to come. Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. <laughs> come on. I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. I love how he was polite enough to give them tickets, but still kind of rude enough to be like, I don't care about either of you. I oh, only yeah. care about Odd. <laughs> he totally has to be the rude, aggressive guy. <laughs> well, see you guys later. A condescending, uh, not nihilist, but kind of cold? Maybe yeah, not, yeah. Maybe he isn't going to be cold, though. Will Lady On be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? Hey, artists do that. Ever heard of Caravaggio? No. Oh, well, he was a pimp. Really? He was a famous artist who is also a murderer, a criminal, a street thug, and a pimp. His work is really valuable, though, and uh, did really well. That's horrible! Yeah, it is. I told you not to come out! <laughs> I'm not gonna appreciate the fine arts. Can't we just go home? Man, you don't appreciate nothing. You appreciate food. I wanna. Let's learn about Madarame. Yeah, that yeah, way yeah. That will actually get your attention. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. I mean, dude, Phantom Thieves. I thought you were all into this. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? He's only interested if you're doing cool Phantom Thievey stuff. Recon is for suckers. Dude, with this attitude, BG, you're just going to become a fan of Mugger. <laughs> hmm? Madarame doesn't seem bad, though. I mean, we don't know anything about him or what he's doing, but... He's far more experienced in life, Damon. He can hide his evil much better than a thug like Kamoshida. Hmm, well said. It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. He's even more popular than Kamoshida, so he has to have a press face. Oh, you're right, you're right. He's got a lot of experience dealing with the press. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Right? It's almost like he's st taking styles from other artists. What did I say? How could he be so... Okay. How much, how much influence does he have? If, if it could be that he is tweaking their work, uh -huh. I could understand that, but... Ah, never mind. I, I, I don't need to sit and try and give some sort of a lecture about a style of art that I don't understand. I just find <laughs> it suspicious that he could be such an effective teacher and then, like, his pupils could produce world-class art. Like, he's teaching them in the first place, right? If his pupils produce such world-class art, then why are so many of them homeless and been and down in a poor situation in their life? How many people did we run across whose lives had been ruined by Madarame because he's taking the credit for their work? But how how can you find pu so many pupils who not only you can make produce world-class art, but then 
who are not going to be able to say anything when they're thrown out on their butt and then can't make a living as an artist anymore. If they could already produce world-class art that this guy could steal, how could they then just become a bum with no connection to art? Maybe he refined their artistic ability to a point where he could steal it. Hmm, well... We'll find out. They maybe. should still have it, though. Where ah, in the blah, blah, blah. world we'll does all out. your inspiration come from? Child well, labor. It is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart. Like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Completely pretentious, but hey, he's an artist. He has to be. Yeah. Naturally, you say. Who are those two kids behind you listening in on our conversation? We're photobombing the shoot. Just go ahead. <laughs> I'll start dabbing next. <laughs> What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. Oh, yeah, you know all about that, right? My atelier <laughs> is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. I saw that word in Shadows of Destiny. <laughs> a shack. I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. What is your problem? <laughs> it's just press fawning all over somebody. You would understand uh. if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something... Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! He's I'm actually so here? At his own expo? Day. Well, he's he's well known enough that he doesn't have to be here That's true. to his That's own true. expo. He's not trying to raise his profile. He already That's has true. an extremely high profile. Oh gosh! Hey, stop pushing! There's way too many people! And Yuji's trampled under the mob. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? <laughs> <laughs> no, Morgana! Stay safe! In the bag. I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. I like the cat. Yeah, yeah. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. Man, I, I guess I just need something else to break my suspension, or to, to help my suspension of disbelief. Because that's really what I'm su suffering from. It seems pretty obvious what he's doing. Right. I just find it hard to believe that that would be credible. Well, that's... We'll find out. They'll address it. He's special. This game hasn't let us down yet. Of course not. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. As a model, I have the ability to appreciate fine art, not like the two cavemen I travel with. You're <laughs> sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artist satisfaction. I'm sensing hatred for it! <laughs> I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Actually, modern art does, does fill me with many strong emotions. Anger. Yeah, you want to burn it. Yeah. <laughs> The desire to destroy the art. Nothing else. Not the <laughs> artist, just the art. But, uh, you know, this isn't modern art. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. No, it's Madarame art. Is that a bit of a stretch? Sorry about that. Indeed. Oh, this is it. The painting I wanted to see in person. Hmm. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. It's Yusuke's painting and you were right. She is sensing anger from it. <laughs> <laughs> How excellent! To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <sighs> yup. Okay, so this means his students know? Something wrong? Well, aren't they orphans? That is kind of what he'd said, yeah, and this way it gives him some connection to Madarame, but wouldn't they, which is probably what he's holding above their heads, he it, has to be threatening them in some way, though. It could be that he gave them, he would be like, study under me, and like, paint for me, and I'll, and I'll make you famous, and then at the end he's just like, screw off. And then make some cover story and tell the other ones. Speaking of which, the cat is attacking a cardboard box. One moment. At least it's better than the cat attacking the TV. That's true. Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Hmm. 
I'm really curious what he's actually doing. Hey! There might be some ver some sort of not necessarily Stockholm syndrome, but something like that. Like, yeah. Because he is their father figure to a degree. Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. Art is boring. To that, I remember now. Uh, your brain's in your stomach. About what? Well, let me get to it. <laughs> it's about a post online. Here, look at this. Here we are. Why'd you leave without me? We were attacked! We were about to die. You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... And look, one of the star pupils of Mararame wasn't dragging us around trying to bribe us into something. And I kind of saw what was on the TV in the background and I thought I saw a commercial for, like... Something... Yeah, that! What is that? Is that like a giant monster? I don't know. Maybe one of the Megatons? In any case, uh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? So let us go, Phantom Thieves, to protect intellectual. Property, your property law. Well, it's not just that. Oh, I guess they don't know he's ruining people's lives yet. Right. I, it's we don't have the information. It's just that is kind of funny that that's how it starts. Right. I know, I know. Suspension of disbelief. I'm still having trouble with this. I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Matarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. So how can they produce world-class art? He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Maybe the only reason it's world-class is because he's the one that produces it. Ah, after all, the last time I was at an art museum, as soon as I got past, or as soon as I got to the more modern and postmodern uh -huh. stuff, you know, one of the things that actually was there in the, in the museum was a piece of paper with like three different colors of crayons, each drew a circle and a scribble. Yeah. I'm like, how is this? Right, exactly. So there, there could be something to that, but it's like this is that traditional Japanese art, you know? That's true. Hmm. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? He probably has enough talent by himself to get world renowned, but because he's old, he might be relying on younger people to do the art. Maybe he's too old to paint properly now. Maybe arthritis or something. There, and you know, using the using the existing fame he already has to just tell everyone that it's his stuff and no one questions him. You know, there may be something to that. Uh, it also could be that he is very knowledgeable about it, mm -hmm. but he isn't able to produce it very well. So yeah, he yeah. people who can produce it and is and knows how to dress it up properly. Yes, and yes, exactly. It. So it could actually all be a media stroking deal. Mm -hmm. huh. If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. There's one real easy way to find out. It's very the metaverse. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. I was kind of thinking that Yusuke posted that. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? Of course, it does sort of seem like... No, no, never mind. <laughs> I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Is he going to be wandering around? Is he still going to be, like, cognizant? Or just another regular shadow, you know? Well, he could just go ask Nakano oh, himself. Actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. Precisely. And how are we going to go about that? Are we going to explain it all, starting with mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Sir, a bunch of high school students have been asking about you. Why are you telling me this? I don't give a crap. I mean, what could a bunch of high school students do to his reputation? But he might be very defensive about it. True. I'm sure there's a lot more to this than oh, yeah. being initially led on. That's generally how it works. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. But it does kind of seem like they might be going after him for spite until we know more about the abuse. Well, the big thing was to go after big people with palaces so that the Phantom Thieves could get well-known and inspire more people. Well, 
my my problem with that is so it, is it could turn out turn out to be something like this musician sing songs about content I don't like. Therefore, we will destroy them because that is proof of their distortions. Actually, I think the palace would be the biggest proof of their distortions. That's true. <laughs> mm. They need to... Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? I think his laugh is super fake. <laughs> it's no, like you... they just need a starting point to do some real investigation. To see if there's really something there. No, you are right. You are right. <laughs> no, he seems... It doesn't happen very often. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but... Especially if we can uncover a lot of dirt. <laughs> Something just struck me. You see Jiro slouching on the guardrail there, and you see Ryuji just kind of like idly tapping on his phone, all like posture askew, and then you just see like An standing there looking kind of uncertain and all I can think of, this is our heroes, folks! <laughs> <laughs> How realistic. Yeah. Is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Hitago Akun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. Well, that's mm -hmm. convenient. Guess what you're going to be doing, On? <laughs> he said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Matarame's house right after school. Time for some primo phantom thieving. Heck yeah! I. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? I really want some time to work on stats and confidants. <laughs> just, uh... This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. If we don't take care of this in two weeks, uh, something bad will happen. <laughs> That's what you meant. Yeah, we gotta build up to there. <laughs> no. If we don't take care of it in two weeks, then Yusuke will be executed. Okay. <laughs> Why? Who knows? In any case, we need to find out if that rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, this might be just exactly what we needed. There were words in there, <laughs> and there was an order. However, my reading of them and that order may or may not be connected. <laughs> help! <laughs> really? Somebody send help! I clearly need it! <laughs>